Solar technology has been around for quite a while now, but you wouldn't really think that unless you're familiar with it. And there are many reasons for this. For starters, OLED has only broken into the TV and monitor market relatively recently. But also, there's the fact that there simply aren't that many TVs and monitors that utilize this technology. And the ones that do are exorbitantly expensive. Now, a higher price tag usually indicates a higher quality product. But this isn't always the case. With that said, today we'll be taking a look at OLED monitors with all their pros and cons, what advantages they have compared to regular LCD monitors, and why there's such a price discrepancy between the two. So without any further ado, let's begin. Now before we start the exhibition match between these two display technologies, let's take a look at the basics. What is it that makes these two types of displays different from one another? The short answer is the way the screen lights up. Whenever you hear LED being used to describe a monitor or a TV, you're dealing with an LCD display that uses an LED backlight. And the first thing that sets OLED displays apart is that they don't have an active backlight of any kind. Instead, OLED technology allows for each pixel to light up independently and function as its own light source. This key difference will be vital in a number of areas that we'll go over in this video. The first round will revolve around how well each of these display technologies can handle contrast. And right from the get-go, OLED is off to a great start. What makes OLED far superior, as far as contrast is concerned, is the fact that each pixel is illuminated separately, without the need for an active backlight. This means that OLED displays can display true black. And while this may not sound that impressive, chances are most people haven't had the pleasure of seeing true black on a monitor, because the light of an active backlight simply can't be blocked out entirely. So in most cases, the black you're seeing on an LCD display is actually just a dark shade of grey. Of course, some panels are better at displaying black than others, but it'll still never be true black. With an OLED display, pixels switch off, and just like that, you've got true black with 100% uniformity. Another benefit of OLED display is the absolute lack of backlight bleeding. Backlight bleeding occurs to varying degrees in all displays that utilize an active backlight. And what this means is that some areas of the screen will be brighter than others. Usually, these occur along the edges or in the form of irregular areas anywhere on the screen. This leads to inconsistent blacks and can really take away from the viewing experience. We've already done a video on how to remedy backlight bleeding, so if you're having problems with it, you can find a link in the description. But in the meantime, there's nothing else to do but ring the bell and declare OLED as the victor of this round. Viewing angles determine how wide an angle you can look at a display without seeing any color distortion. And while OLED displays fare extremely well in this regard, it is a bit of a hit and miss situation with LCDs. Namely, how well an LCD display fares with viewing angles will come down largely to the type of panel being used. TN panels aren't even in the same league as OLED when it comes to viewing angles, and while VA panels fare better, IPS panels are the only ones that can come close to OLED in this department. Again, we've made a whole video where we talk about the most popular types of panels and what their benefits are, so make sure to check it out if you want to know more about this. With that said, we'll have to give this round to OLED as well, since even the best IPS monitors and TVs cannot quite match it. But now we come to one of the most important aspects of a display, the color reproduction. After all, this is arguably the most important quality of a display. How vibrant and lifelike are the colors that it can reproduce? Well, the reason for the price discrepancy between OLED and LCD displays is in hiding here. While OLEDs tend to generally fare very well in this department, so do LCDs. It's just that with LCDs, the panel is once again a very important factor. The colors reproduced by TN panels often look quite flat and washed out, but VA panels and IPS panels are more than capable of producing downright stunning colors, the latter especially. Ultimately, this round will have to be a draw, so neither technology is inherently better when it comes to color reproduction. Even those who don't know what HDR is still know that it's, to put it vaguely, a good thing. In essence, high dynamic range, or HDR for short, has a singular purpose. To make the image as lifelike as possible by improving contrast, upping the brightness, and improving color depth. 
Needless to say, OLED can handle contrast better, but LCDs can still hold their own just because a powerful active backlight can go a long way in helping to produce more intense light, which is also vital to making an image appear closer to reality. So while they may take different approaches in getting there, the bottom line is that both types of display can produce excellent HDR, which means that we have no other choice but to declare this round a tie 2. Now if you're thinking that the contestants don't have any punch left in them after 3 rounds, get ready to see how they fare in terms of performance. This one in particular will be very interesting if you're a gamer. And you probably are if you're watching this video. Now we've only said bad things about TN panels used in LCD monitors so far, but there's a reason they're so popular. And it's not just because they're the cheapest to manufacture. TN panels are by far the best performing panels. Most monitors with high refresh rates use TN panels for a reason. Granted, there are IPS and VA monitors that support refresh rates as high as 144Hz, although they are a bit pricier. If you have your sight set on a 240Hz, however, then you're stuck with a TN. Plain and simple. At least as far as LCDs are concerned. Now the good news is that OLED monitors are more than capable of reaching these high refresh rates. In fact, their theoretical limitations are much higher. So it's only a matter of time before we see an OLED monitor with refresh rates beyond that of 240Hz. Not that there's much need for those, but still, it's always interesting to see technology advance. The second thing to consider performance-wise is the pixel response time. TN panels boast an impressive 1 millisecond response time, which is already incredible, but OLED simply blows it out of the park in this round with response times as low as 0.1 millisecond. So while the OLED technology in itself performs better on paper and has more potential, we are still nowhere close to seeing that kind of performance in a consumer monitor or a TV. As such, this round will have to go to LCD. And finally, after taking a look at the refresh rates and response times, we come to the pricing. We already know that OLED displays, TVs and monitors alike are much more expensive, and likely to stay that way for the foreseeable future. So let's instead focus our attention on whether they present good value. Now while OLED can offer unparalleled contrasts and the kind of color accuracy and vibrancy that only the best IPS panel can rival, there really isn't that much more to them right now. Sure, they have the potential to be far faster, but at the moment, it's just that. Potential. With the kind of price tags attached to OLED displays right now, there is just very little incentive to get one. On the other hand, LCD monitors present much better value, be it lightning fast 240Hz TN monitors, the more affordable VA ones that do their best to bring performance and visual together in a more modestly priced package, or the 144Hz IPS models that combine the best of both worlds, they all come at prices significantly lower than those of OLEDs. Seeing as most LCD displays are already quite capable of keeping pace with the few OLED ones that we've seen so far, both in terms of visual quality and performance, this round simply has to go to LCDs. Ultimately, as you can see, OLED is definitely the superior technology. But while it may be better than LCD in theory, it is definitely not better for your wallet. As mentioned before, the prices of OLED monitors and TVs are very high, much higher than what you'd need to spend on an LCD solution that would meet your needs at a fraction of an OLED's price tag. But as it always is with new technologies, they need time to break into the market. Just think of 4K TVs. They were ridiculously expensive when they first appeared, and only a few years back you'd be hard pressed to find one that didn't cost over a thousand dollars. Yet today you can get one for as little as three hundred dollars. The same thing will inevitably happen with OLED displays. Manufacturing processes will improve, the technology itself will develop, and the prices will drop. And when that happens, we'll be singing a different tune. But until then, the most cost-efficient thing to do is to stick with LCD monitors. Not that there are many OLED monitors around right now to begin with. And there you have it, the real value of OLED displays as opposed to LCDs. They're definitely good, but they're still overpriced. If you'd like to know more about monitors, there are loads of videos on our channel where we talk about every technical aspect, so make sure you check those out.
Of course, if you're shopping for a monitor and need some more practical advice and concrete suggestions, you'll definitely want to give our comprehensive buyer's guide for monitors a look. All the links are in the description. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you've enjoyed this video. Feel free to leave a comment letting us know where you stand on this debate. And if you want to see more videos like this one, click on the bell icon and you'll be the first to know when they get uploaded. In the meantime, may your games be fun and your losses few. And as always, we'll see you next time on Gaming Scan.